Well, at least now we know the origins of both uh, a.m. Detective Corey Joey Paul and the Countess. The interview with Rosangela Blackwell. Detective Sam Durkin also present. <gasps> Durkin! So, Durkin, Durkin. Ms. Blackwell, tell us again why you were in that Durkin, house. Durkin, Durkin, Durkin. Say nothing. Tell them nothing. Keep your teeth together. We'll get out of this. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Joey's advice this time. I will remain silent. Answer the question, Blackwell. <sighs> Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. That's your right, but your silence can and will be used in the court of law. You. Remember that. Fine. Next question. What happened to Detective Piero? Uh, listen. Uh, Joey said that we will get out, so I'm trusting him. So, I don't know, but I think I'm going to remain silent. I shall shut up. Miss Blackwell, I won't ask again. What happened to Detective Piero? Enough, Palmer. You saw the paraffin test. Leah fired that weapon. I refuse to believe that, Sam. Believe what you want. Those are the facts. Well, here's some facts for you. This lady was chatting with Emil Haskins earlier this evening. Not only that, we have a witness who saw her sneaking into his office at work. How do you respond to that? I have, uh, nothing to say to you, Mr. Copper Cop Pig, you pig fucker. No answer, huh? Well, let me lay it out for you. We spoke to the clerk on duty. We spoke to Emil Haskins, a man who is now a widower, I might add. Nobody gave you permission. But then, breaking and entering isn't really a new thing for you, is it? I've pulled your file. Do you even know how many restraining orders you have against you? About a fuck ton. I am one really attached type of girl. Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. You said that again. Again. If getting banned from the campuses of NYU and Columbia weren't bad enough, we've got a dozen complaints registered against you from businesses and families. I'd call Bellevue to have you taken away. But you're banned from there too. <laughs> Who the hell are you? And why haven't you been taken in before now? Palmer, take a walk. Sam? You're tired. Go get a cup of coffee. I don't need coffee. That's not a request. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. I've heard the rumors. That you've got some mysterious informant. Is this her? Palmer? Fine. I'm going. But we will find out what happened. It's our damn job after all. Come on, Dirky Dirk. Let me suck your dick. I mean, uh, get you a cup of coffee. So, you happy now? A am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Maybe. Maybe not. That depends on you. The crap you pulled tonight. Was it worth it? There is something bigger going on, but I don't know if I want to bring, uh, Turkey Dirky. Gherkin, I'm gonna get bring you in. All right, you coming into the inner circle. There's something much bigger going on. So you said, but we cops, we like things simple. Not you though. You make things complicated just by walking into a room. What are you trying to say? Officially, we're pursuing every lead. Unofficially, there was no trace of the bullet that killed the little girl. With Leah dead, we'll most likely never solve it. The trail is too cold. So, what do you need? Um. Excuse me? You want it in so bad? You're in. You won't be on the books. We can't even pay you. This case is too high profile. So, what do you need? I need everything you know about everyone, basically. Um, all right, let's go with uh, everything you know about George Austin. Everything you know about George Austin. Palmer can get you that. Speak to him tomorrow. Ooh. Anything else? Yeah, I need Leah's case files. Access to Leah's case files. Can't do it. Those are being boxed oh. up and archived. Anything else? Yeah, the, uh, ba, ba, da, access to his apartment. Access to George Austin's apartment. I'll take care of it. Anything else? I would actually like you to come home. But, uh, uh, but you want to have a cup of coffee with me? Cup of coffee? I'll let Palmer get you one. Oh my me. god. 
Palmer's going to hate me. <laughs> He's going to think, who got this be? Who be this bitch that come in and make me do Nothing things? Nothing that I can think of. All right. From now on, you talk to Palmer. He'll be at the front desk tomorrow. He's going to hate my guts. Detective Durkin, Sam, why are you doing this? Why me? My first case involved a kid. 30 years ago, it must have been. There was this little girl living with her aunt. The aunt went nuts, smashing things, screaming. Total loony. The little girl was hiding in a closet. Couldn't have been more than five. Scared out of her mind. I've had a soft spot for kids ever since. What? I see. Go home, Blackwell. Get some sleep. You look like you spent the night in jail. Is that the same story? Was that, was that uh, the, her story? Huh. The press are having a field day. Lots of theories, but nothing approaching the truth. You expect anything different? Just be glad your name didn't get leaked. That's the last thing we need. No trace of the Grace Group, either. Then we best get out there and do what we do. Do what we do best, motherfucker. We got and do searching. Do searching. Do searching. All right. Uh, so the first thing we've got to do, I think, is... Let's head out the door. Because we're going to go to... Grace Church. The first thing I'm gonna do, uh, sorry, is I'm gonna go to Grace Church and I'm going to ask this Father Ullman, Ullman, about the uh, this Grace Group. Come on, Father Ullman. Hi, remember me? Yes, and would you please keep your voice? No, down. I won't. Sorry. You motherfucker. Okay. Grace Group. Do you know anything? Like, walk up right next to him and go, Hello! I'm looking for information on the Grace Group. Grace Group? They used to meet here, in the basement. Some kind of self-help group? There are hundreds of so-called Grace Groups. And they all have meetings in the basement. You will have to be a bit more specific than that. It has Leah. Never mind. Okay. Leave him, because well, no one gives a shit about him. He is a uh, father of obviously something else. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to George Austin's uh, apartment. Austin, Austin's apartment. Hi. Yes, miss. I am uh, D D Blackwell. My name is Rose Angela Blackwell. I was told you'd be expecting me. Is this about George? But that's right. I still can't believe it. But here's the key. Twelfth floor. I Anderson. know where it is. Thanks. Took me motherfucking ages just to find this fucking place, and I was visited this place so many times. I read that note about three hundred times before I actually. Come on, Joe, 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 Joey boy. Let us go. Let us go to this. Oh, it's also it's even in a frozen color. Fantastic. Uh, look at the painting. That'd look amazing on my bathroom it would. wall. Darling, that thing's bigger than your entire bathroom. Let's <laughs> let's take it. I'd never sneak it past oh, the doorman. Oh goddamn it! But it's a vase. We can sneak the vase. No, it looks really you, fragile and expensive. You, you haven't had sex before, have you? Because you could probably fit that vase in your lovely place. Let's check the list. I don't need somebody else. Look at the list. What does it say? Bok choy, garam masala, quinoa, branzino. It's either a shopping list or a voodoo spell. It's actually a bit of both. Uh, voodoo have some of the best cooking recipes. It's 100% fact. Look it up. Uh, what the fuck is that? Choi choikles. Ch There's no L. Choo choo. Choo. Choo choikles. I don't know. I think they might be candlesticks. Possibly. They're fucked up as well. That is the worst name in the world. Uh, look at the tablet. It's a tablet computer. Looks like it's still in the charging dock. Then take it. So that we can see what's going on, motherfucker. Hey, it's got a missed call from a Michael. And there's the email. Whoever this Michael is, he seems to know quite a lot. Hi, George. It's been a long time. Almost too much time. So this Michael has a source who knows about bestowers, about me. This is starting to get personal.
Okay. So Emil was being a typical dad, and everyone else is being crazy. All right. Uh, can you take it? There's a lampshade. It looks like a regular lamp. Well, it's not a regular lamp. I know lamps. That is a very Swedish lamp. I don't know why, but it looks like a Swedish lamp. Is that open or closed now? Because that's fucking weird. It's a beautiful view. Things might be bleak, but not that. Oh, bleak. please. Then you can like just join Joey and you can have a rent. Oh, no, you can't because your person is meant to be um, Sam. Sam, who helped you through all your stuff. It'd be a nice place to sit with a glass of wine at sunset if there wasn't three feet of snow out here. Well, it wouldn't make a difference if there was three feet of snow. Let's go to the planter. Hmm? What? Oh, um, hi there. Yes, um, hi there. What are you doing up here? Oh, I am a friend of George. He is a person I know. I'm a friend of George Austin. Hmm, a friend, of course. I suppose he was bound to get to a redhead sooner or later. Oh, no, it's nothing like that. Please, it's none of my business. Anyway, I'd best head back in. But I'm sure I'll see you around. Ta. Okay, roof ghost. Hello, Miss, 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 Miss. I don't think I can do anything to help those plants. Miss, Little Miss Christmas. Uh, Joey, pass through the door because I need you to venture to the other side. I mean, of the patio, the shared patio. You could venture to the other side because you've been there before and you've come back, even though you don't seem to remember much of it. I wonder if they have pancakes. <laughs> Sorry, have we met? Kind of. I think you met my friend earlier. I see. You're both looking after George's place. Yeah, something like that. Together. As in ghost penis. So you actually live here? Uh, so to speak. Yes. Why are you so surprised? Well, this place is kind of, well, empty. I live alone. That's not what I mean. Look around. There's nothing in here. What on earth are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. You were there, Joey. Who are you? What's your name? Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? Cute. Very cute. Huh? Wait, you're serious? Well, isn't this delicious? It's so rare that I get to be the mysterious one. Okay, my name is Joey. Joey Malone. My name's Joey. Ha! Huh. Joey Malone. He's got an echo. Why don't you tell me yours? You honestly don't know who I am. I'm afraid not. I admit, I'm fascinated. I know your name, but you don't know mine. It's not often that I'm in this position. So, are you gonna tell me or what? I think not. I wanna savor this for just a little while longer. All right, Chicky Boo. Um, come on, tell me your name. Come on, you know my name, it's only fair. I can't tell if you're being genuine or if you're just playing with me. Why not both? Well. The night is young. See if you can figure it out. She's such a, such a, such a flirt. And so is Joey. Are you famous or something? All right, we're not going to make any further with that. Well, whoever you are, I'll see you around. Say hi to George for me, if you see him. Uh, George is dead, my friend. Let's read this note. Well, you're not my friend. Whatever this note says, it's too dark to read it. Okay, exit. Let's blow on this fucking note. Can we read it now? It says, I know about Heather, and it's signed by someone named Jay. Jay? Who the fuck is Jay? That is some cryptic shit. You need a cryptograph. Let's ask the, the ghost about Heather. Hi there. Hello again. What brings. Do you know who Jay is? The note is signed Jay. Who's Jay? I have no idea, and I don't know anything about any note. It's on the goddamn floor. I know about Heather. Do you know anything about this? About what? This note. The one on your floor. I have no idea. It has nothing to do with me. And what's it doing here? I have no idea. Okay, okay, relax. We're just trying to figure this shit out together, my lady. My lady, my lady. Well, whoever you are, I'll see you around. Say hi to George for me, if you see him. No point in leaving that way. 
I can only leave with red, and she can't get okay. in here. Okay, well then, go. Uh, can you move further this way? I'd like you to... do. there's a front door. It's a front door. At least okay, the... we can't do shit. So we know about Heather. Maybe we can find out if we go downstairs. Uh, but there's a planter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go with the Rosa. And we go in. We're going to go back down to the doorman. And we're going to ask him about the room next door to George's apartment. <laughs> It's a tablet computer. And this is Joe Gould, but I don't think it's that, because Joe Gould died like 5,000 years ago. So, there's no one else. That's M, 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 Lyra, and Emils. There's no J's. And Sam Durkin is Durkin Durkin. Go to the... Directly outside. Oh, oh, okay. No, I want to text to go in here. I uh, go to the lobby. Go to Doorman. And we need to find Hi. out from him. Yes, miss. A man with your wonderful mustache. Do you know who the person in the other room is? Do you know who lived in the apartment across from George? I'm afraid not. I only started working here a few months ago. That apartment has been vacant the whole time. Okay. Was that B12B, maybe? Uh, there's Michael. Do you know anyone by the name of uh, Michael? Did George know anyone named Michael? I'm afraid I don't know. I care every day. Does this phone number look familiar to you? Mm, no, it doesn't. Sorry. Okay. Well, that was wonderful. Wonderful and successful. Uh, just talk to him about the goddamn. Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No, but if you better not. <laughs> All right, I don't give a shit about that. All right, let's just see. Can we phone Michael and see who the hell it is? No answer. Okay. Slightly ominous. But that's fine. It's cool to be ominous. It's cool to have some ominousity. Ominousity? Ominousity. That's, I'm gonna go with that. All right. Um, 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 um. Let's go to the police station. And, oh no, Mr. Sam Durkin's not there. That sucks. Okay, let's look at our phone. And let's, oh, we got an email. Uh, Ab Abbott Leaks. Okay. Sam Durkin. Hello, Mr. Durkin. So we looked into the Mihin girl. The picture matches the Dane Doe. We are trying to locate her friends and family. When you get to it, please submit a report so we can invoice you. Here's a copy of the case notes for your reference. Download case notes. Downloading. Go into my note file. Thank you very much. Uh, you, the, this Captain Palmer is going to hate our guts. So Sam says I'm supposed to help you. I'm here at the station. So come by whenever. We also told the staff asked them to expect you. If there's any logic behind this, I don't see it. Yeah, well, you don't. You lack all the logic uh, of a crispy crumble suitcase. Uh, go in here. Let us check. Oh, it's you. Sam told me it's Shrink like by. Hi, Corey, was it? No. It's Officer Palmer. Officer? His name is Officer Palmer. Fuck not. Alright, uh, Durkin told me to speak to you. Uh, where is Durkin, by the way? Is Detective Durkin around? I haven't seen him since yesterday. I'm sure he's wandering around somewhere. Okay, and then what about, uh, Leah? I'm sorry, really. I'm sorry about Leah. Don't even go there. I don't care what you saw, or what the evidence says. Leah wouldn't kill herself. And if she did, then she wasn't Leah anymore. Yeah, you are taking me, taking Leah's death very personally. I think they were having, well, no, because he was, she, he had a crush. You seem to be taking Leah's death rather personally. The chief would agree with you. That's why I'm shackled behind this desk and set out there doing something. <laughs> All right, well, you definitely then have a problem. Uh, could you tell me about Leah? So what's the story with you and Leah? I get the impression you knew her pretty well. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I partnered with her back when I first joined the force. She taught me a lot. Everything, really. I owe her. She was a rock. She was a rising star. Why would she flip out like she did? I'm working on it, Corey. I really am. 
That's Officer Palmer. And I'm not holding my breath. You're a dick. So I quit holding that as well. All right, look, Durkin told me to speak to you. So Durkin told me to speak to you? Yes, I heard. Congratulations, I guess. I don't know why you're so special, but orders are orders. If you need any information from us, I'll see about getting it to you. But you talk to me, and only me. Understand? Perfectly. Except when I'm talking to Durkin. Then I'm going to talk to Durkin and not to you. We're not good. Uh, any updates on George Austin? So, what's the latest on George Austin? He was killed with a 22 caliber bullet. That's all we know so far. We're still talking to Leah's ex-husband, but he's got a pretty solid... Well, he didn't do it. We I would have recognized him. Uh, any updates on Kendra? How did Kendra die? Was that ever established? I read the autopsy report. It was definitely a bullet wound. It went right through her shoulder. Clean hole all the way through. The coroner said that she bled to death, but could have survived if she was brought to a hospital right away. I don't understand this. Not at all. That's kind of fucked up. That means that technically Lear killed her daughter. Uh, do you know Emil? Did you know Emil Haskins at all? I don't know much. Just what Leah used to tell me. I got the impression he was a deadbeat. Always out of a job, always late with child support payments, things like that. Guess he doesn't have to worry about that stuff anymore. But uh, that's what he said was about George. So I think Lear is almost the common denominator around here. Is there anything else you can tell me about Leah? Officer Piero was juggling a demanding job, a growing daughter, and a deadbeat ex-husband. There was immense pressure on her, but I still don't buy that she would do what she did. Just say it. This is not like Lord Voldemort. This is, you know, death. Just, she killed herself, for fuck's sake. She just took a bullet to the head. I saw it. I can't tell you that I saw it, but she killed herself. Okay, uh, if we go here, do you know any Michael? Do you know anyone named Michael? Um, you're gonna have to be more specific <laughs> than that. I don't like that. I just like to throw out random names. Uh, do you know anyone? Yeah. Do you know if any of George Austin's neighbors died recently? It's not in any of the reports. Do you have a name? No, not yet. But she lived across from George. Can't you look it up that way? I can't, no. The way the system works, I can only look it up by the victim's name, not address. Sorry. That's pretty shitty. That's a stupid system. Uh, okay, Michael's number. Do you want to just check for it? Maybe do a tracker or a see-through or something? Tap Does it? this phone number mean anything to you? Not really, but I can trace yes. it for you. Trace it? Run the number, see who it belongs to. Within reason, anyway. Where'd you find it? I found it on George Austin's phone. Oh, we ran that number already. You did? Yeah. It belonged to Grace Church. Probably calling for donations or something. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks anyway. There was something else going on there. There's, there's something going on. All right, the Koth file. There are tons of case files listed here. I'm not going to ask about them one by one. Well, no, you don't have to ask about them one by one. Just ask about them all together. Well, I better... Sure. All right, so I'm assuming we're going. And then what we're going to do... Is we're going to go back to Grace's church. Before I go inside the church, though. No, while I'm inside, because I don't want to freeze to death. It would be stupid if I just, like, stay. Joey, you can stay outside. You can be our eyes and ears. I don't understand. He teleports. I mean, uh, it's so much fun being a ghost. Uh, if we were to look up, or we'll look at the card file, what does it say? It doesn't say anything. All right, so let's go with... Uh, no, I don't see... No, you don't see a connection. Uh... We go Grace Group. Excuse me. Yes. I'm sorry to bother you, but can you get me some information on a Michael? Do you know any Michaels? In my line of work, I know more than I can count. Do you know any Michaels with this number? I checked with the police. This number belongs to a phone in this church. A man I'm looking for made a phone call from this number. His name is Michael. It's very important that I find him. I'm afraid I don't know who you're talking about. I am sorry. I think he's lying. I think he's a dickhead. That's what I think, honestly. Um, okay, well, let's go back. The telephone. The telephone that uses this number, where is it? Why would you need to know that? Michael used the phone. Maybe he left a clue behind when he did. And he could have used any one of a dozen offices in our administration wing. Really? Over a dozen? Yes. 
So if you want to locate Michael Cooper, you'll have to find another way. Oh yeah, he gave us the name. Wait, Cooper? Pardon? You said Michael Cooper. Yeah. Isn't that the gentleman you're looking for? No, I just said his name was Michael. So you did. Slip of the tongue. My apologies. It is quite late and I'm tired. Okay. Who is this guy? You need to tell me who Michael Cooper right now. is. I told you I don't know any Michael Cooper. Uh, yes, you, you do. You're a lying sack of shit is what you are. Okay, let's go with... Uh, by name. So now we've got the name. So now we've got... Okay, wait, let's go back here. Go back. Well, thanks. Okay, Steve. we're going to go back to here. And we're going to go back... Nope, not that one. We're going to go back here. And we're going to say these two. This is the phone number that Michael called George from. I'm just going to search. Michael... Michael... Cooper. Huh. So Michael Cooper was a priest. Interesting. Michael Cooper was a priest. Ooh, and he was a priest during roughly the same time. Cause uh, what's it? What was his name? Um, Father Ullman, I think. Okay, so they were at the same place. So he definitely knew him. He must have been a younger one, but he definitely knew him. Okay. So now I know that I can just call the father out and all his bullshit because he's lying through his sack of shit teeth. But, uh, we shall see, we shall see. Okay. Um, Joey. Joeyton? Jehoseph was the, the... Sorry about that. Jehovah's Witness. Let's go. That would be a really retarded name. I think I'm going to call them all Joes. And just say, hey, Joe. And they'll be like, what are you talking about? I'll say, Joe, Jehovah, Jehovah's Witness, Joe. And he'll be like, shut up. And I'll be like, no. Hi there. Hello again, yes. mister. What, what brings you by? I'm going to go through all of you right now. No. Like I said, this is way too much fun. You're a really beautiful lady. You know that. Um, okay. So, this is not working. As we can see. Well, whoever you say, I do. We need to figure out something. I don't know what we need to figure out. We need to figure out how to do. Hey, Red, you got a second? Come on, Red Lips. Yeah. Do the things. Okay, I was going to see something weird. Uh, plan our next move. Two priests in two days. And to think, I've gone all this time without knowing even one. Cool. Well, let's leave. Because, Rose, we're going to leave now and we're going to go to Mr. Ullman. And we're going to say, bitch, give me your shit right now because I know you're a lying motherfucker. You're a lying bastard. You know him. Excuse me. Yes. You know Michael Cooper. I know Michael Cooper. Michael Cooper. He's a priest too, isn't he? So? So, it's a pretty big coincidence, wouldn't you say? I... Um, Just stop lying and spill the beans. Or else I will get the police involved. So stop lying to me. Please stop lying to me. I'm not lying. You're not telling me the whole truth either, are you? I made a promise. He came to me scared, begging me to protect him, to give him sanctuary. He was ranting. I should have turned him away, but we roomed together at the seminary. We were close friends once. What could I do? You can take me to him. He's raving. He's mad. He, he says he's in a battle for his very soul. Is this true? Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> he's in the school. It's closed for the winter break, so it seemed like a good a place as any to hide him. Here's a key. The entrance is around the corner. Please, do whatever you must. Hey. Just don't come back here. Don't worry. Okay, so now we've got access. So, thrown out of a church. I suppose with our record, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> 
The entrance to the school is around the block. Let's go. Let us march. I hope. I hope. It's off to Grey School we go. La da 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 da. Hi ho. Here we go.